Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be using Glitchify, my new plugin, to transition from one footage to the other. Now, if we take this slowly and kind of scrub through this, you can see as we're transitioning, you're able to see both sets of footage at the same time and everything's all glitchy. And so it's a really cool transition from one to the other. And I want to show you quickly how to do that. So let's just go in and I'm going to remove what I have on both layers. So we just have one layer and then the next. And you can see they're just on the same timeline here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Glitchify effect to this. So go to Effects, Cinema Spice, Glitchify. And I'm going to make some changes. First thing I'm going to do is with a look like this, I don't want the um, channel scale. So I'm going to turn that off. And then I might come in here to the image glitch and let's increase the block. And maybe change this from overlay to normal. Now what I want to do is also bring this up to 100. And at 100 things kind of look like that. So that's how you know what it's going to be like when it's in full. And so how the transition is going to work is I'm going to go from 0% at the beginning of the transition and at the end we'll go to 100 like that you know let's maybe go into the color and add a little bit more color to this yeah that's looking pretty cool now let's copy this effect go to the bottom layer paste it on let's turn off the keyframe because we want it to start at 100. Well, that is crazy. And at the end, go to zero. So it's just opposite. Let's go back onto the top layer. And then we're going to use the transition effect. And what the transition does is there's a completion, there's a softness, and there's a channel. And it'll transition from the channel. So right now it's doing lightness. Let's bring the softness down. We can try saturation. Not alpha, green. Like that. So keyframe the, the completion from zero all the way over to 100. So let's add a little bit more to this. Um, what I want to do is add some random transform movements. And so we have this transform glitch. And this is based on the speed and the amount of the glitchify. So if I come in here and add the scale wiggle, right now it's not doing anything because glitchify is at zero. But as it goes in, you can see it starts to scale. And I crank that quite a bit. And let's do the same thing on that bottom layer. Let's bring the scale wiggle all the way up and maybe the speed up as well. And I think there's a little bit too much color in that bottom layer. So let's go down into the color glitch and bring that down. Maybe the amount down as well. Now what we have here, you see that the bottom layer in the transform, it scaled down really far where you can see the edges. So if we come into the composite over and we click that so it'll composite over its original self, um, then that'll clear that up. Now one thing I want to do is let's take, I'm going to hit U on the keyboard. I'm going to take these keyframes and I'm going to move them closer together. And then after it's all done transitioning, I'm going to um, kind of pop it back in a little bit. So right now on the top layer, uh, the transition is set at 100%. So if we come over, make a keyframe, and then bring it back down a little bit.
and maybe just kind of have it pop in and out a little bit. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so that's about all we're going to do. So just really quickly, I wanted to show you the transition and the transform effect for Glitchify and how you can create cool transitions from one footage to the next. Let's take a look at this in full speed. So if you want to learn more about Glitchify, um, I have a full overview video of all the things it can do. Um, just click on the link in the description for that, or you can head over to cinemaspice.net slash glitchify and you can see all the things it can do, including the sound effects pack that is included in the bundle. So go check it out. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and we'll see you next time.